It is my pleasure to present my abstract titled Mammography Workflow Reduction Using AI-Based Triage Software. This is Dr. Elisa Watnabe from the USC Keck School of Medicine. I am the Chief Medical Officer at CureMetrics, which is based in La Jolla, California. The purpose of the abstract was to assess the performance of triage software called CM Triage and its potential for workflow reduction. That is, could CM Triage be used to accurately sort normal mammograms on the screening work list? There is a scarcity of qualified mammographers worldwide with delays in diagnosis in many countries. The increasing complexity of cases and volumes has resulted in physician burnout. There is known variability in reader performance with opportunity to reduce false positive recalls and biopsies. Can AI help to remedy these problems? Mammographers are familiar with traditional CAD-E products which are defined as devices that can flag lesions on, on images. But this has been a disappointment for many. However, Cumetrics AI CAD has been shown in a reader study to improve cancer detection rates by an average of 27% and also shown in a head-to-head -head study to result in dramatically fewer false flags compared to traditional CAD due to deep learning training. CAD-X is quantitative lesion scoring, which is now available due to AI. In this example, the Cumetrics new score depicts suspicion scores as seen with a score of zero assigned to this confirmed benign mass and a score of 100 assigned to this flag lesion that was confirmed to be a malignancy. This abstract is focused on computer-aided triage, or CAD-T, which is case-based prioritization and triage AI software. CM triage is case-based and has been developed based on a compilation of the lesion-based new scores Using deep learning, images are pre-analyzed and suspicious cases are prioritized on the work list. Triage can benefit radiologists through faster recall of patients, positive reader bias that improves accuracy in reading times, intelligent case distribution for large practices, and the potential for workload reduction, which is the focus of this abstract. I will now be presenting the performance results of CM triage with two different data sets. The first is a challenging and diverse multi-institutional data set, which has been enriched with a large number of cancers from three different facilities and mammograms obtained using multiple equipment vendors. The second test set is comprised of a real-life snapshot series of mammograms, a natural data set of real, unadulterated batch of screening mammograms obtained over three months from a single academic center with no exclusions, or what we have nicknamed as a month in the life of a practice. In the first test set, there were 855 confirmed normal mammograms as validated by one-year follow-up, and the test set was enriched with 400 biopsy-confirmed cancers. Seam triage was evaluated at the ultra-high 99% sensitivity level, and the results show that 58% of the confirmed normal cases were correctly sorted to very low suspicion or essentially cancer-free. All 400 of the cancers were correctly triaged as suspicious. There were no missed cancers. Based on this data, there is potential for a 40% overall 
workflow reduction. Here's the breakdown of CM triage performance based on this test set. The overall area under the curve of 0 0.95, where one is perfection, is shown to be consistent for calcifications, masses, different lesion sizes, and across all tissue densities, ranging from fatty to the more difficult, extremely dense breast. To further validate software performance, we performed a retrospective simulation study using a second test set of real-world data by taking a snapshot of an entire three months of screening mammograms from an academic breast center. The actual workflow results without triage are shown here, with a 13% callback rate and 15 cancers found with a typical cancer detection rate of 7 per thousand. In the simulation model with CM triage, again at 99% sensitivity, 26% of the entire work list was correctly sorted as normal or cancer free. And all of the cancer cases were correctly sorted as suspicious. In addition, CM triage flagged three missed cancers as suspicious, and the correct lesions were also flagged by the CureMetrics CAD. We then tested CM triage at the 93% sensitivity level, showing 62% overall workflow reduction with 85% of the normal mammograms sorted as low suspicion. Again, all the cancers were correctly sorted as suspicious. 55% of the false positive callbacks and 12% of the benign biopsy cases were all sorted as low suspicion and potentially could have been eliminated. In this real-life case scenario, there was a potential for more than 50% recall reduction as well as a 12% biopsy reduction. Over half of the screening cases were correctly sorted as low suspicion with no missed cancers. In addition, there were several clinically missed cancers with the potential to increase the cancer detection rate by 17% or an additional one per thousand. How does CM triage stack up with the published literature? The AUC of the software with both of these two test sets shown here far surpass previously published non-FDA cleared models with neither of the other models achieving the 99% sensitivity level and there were missed cancers in what was classified as low suspicion in the other models. We identified three actual missed cancer lesions in our month in the life study, which were validated by two independent mammographers. All of these missed cancers were triaged and flagged suspicious up to 14 months prior to the clinical recall. Here's an example of one of the missed cancers that had a high new score, which was sorted as suspicious by CM triage. This cancer grew and was eventually recalled from screening 14 months later. Here's another missed cancer, which was a small group of pleomorphic calcifications, which was sorted as suspicious by CM triage and had a high new score. This was clinically classified as benign, but eventually was recalled and had a positive cancer biopsy. In conclusion, this research shows that seam triage can potentially be used for workflow reduction and improve screening performance. As you have heard before, the radiologist using AI will outperform the radiologist who is not. I will end with this quote from an editorial published in Radiology last fall. Ultimately, this innovative application of AI, triage, also known as CAD-T, may prove more effective and reliable than conventional CAD in advancing a so-called lean approach to mammographic screening. Thank you.